It's, it's that crisp air and the last couple of days I've been, you know, had the sunroof popped open yeah. and it's just drinking in that sunshine because I know we're going to be seeing some changes move through yeah. and those changes move in by Tuesday morning. So again, I talked about this at the top of the show tomorrow. Britt marks uh, 14 days in a row wow. with no measurable amount of rain and uh, kicking things off this month, of course, started very wet. But since the first week of November, it has been basically bone dry and we'll see it for one more day. And they'll be seeing some more typical uh, November weather pattern come in at least for Tuesday. But right now we're seeing a temperature of 39 degrees and it was a very chilly start to your Sunday morning and uh, temperatures right around the mid to the upper 20s. Eugene actually set a new record low. I uh, get this. They woke up to a temperature of 20 degrees earlier this morning. We'll still have that ridge of high pressure in place for your Monday. But again, along the northern part of the Oregon coast, there's a little disturbance that's going to brush on by. So there's a slight chance to see some light shower activity, if anything. Thing, and that is about it. But for the most part, you're going to be seeing partly sunny skies heading in into tomorrow. As we look at the part of the holiday forecast, starting on Wednesday, when I know a lot of people are be getting kind of a, a jump on the traffic, there's a slight chance to see a few showers out there. Temperatures in the low 50s. I warmer uh, for Thanksgiving. Temperatures in the mid to the upper 50s, mainly dry. A slight chance to see some showers move back into the picture late uh, Thanksgiving afternoon and evening. And then for Black Friday, if you're going to be battling all those crowds, uh, you'll be looking at some scattered showers with temperatures in the low 50s. Again, we still have that air stagnation advisory throughout parts of the valley and throughout the central and eastern side of the state because our weather pattern really has not changed over the last almost couple weeks. As we look at the air quality now, we're basically in the moderate category throughout the metro area, but you travel south of the city, you can see there is some uh, kind of unhealthy uh, for sensitive groups and also a little bit of some reds. That's the unhealthy air. Things will really start to change though, basically by Tuesday morning and uh, we'll start to see a little bit more of those showers. So here's the timing on when we'll be seeing those changes. I think for some of us, it will be some welcome changes uh, once we head into the early part of the week. But for tomorrow, basically a mix of clouds and sunshine, a good part of the day. Clouds increase really after sunset. And then once you're done with your morning commute on Tuesday, we'll see some passing showers and then starting to dry out heading into uh, basically the overnight hours from Tuesday night and into Wednesday. A slight chance to see some showers roll in heading into Wednesday, but again, rainfall amounts not going to be all that impressive. This model is showing maybe just under two tenths of an inch of rain. Heavier showers will be moving into through uh, southwest Washington. So the forecast up in the Oregon Cascades, at least for tomorrow, relatively quiet. Overnight lows will be in the mid to the upper 20s with daytime highs in the mid 40s, partly cloudy skies. And then the good news is we will be seeing uh, a return of some snow showers by the end of the holiday weekend and some of those snow showers will be heavy. You can see basically from Friday night and into the end of next weekend be seeing close to 18 to 20 inches of new snow throughout the Oregon Cascades. Tomorrow we'll be waking up to temperatures in the mid to the upper 30s, a mix of clouds and sunshine a good part of the day. Uh, by sunset, we'll be seeing a temperature of 48 degrees. And then for Tuesday, the rain returns and Wednesday, a slight chance for a few showers. And then Thursday is going to be looking very nice. If you're going to be out and about, maybe throwing the football Ooh. around as the turkey cooks in the oven, you'll be seeing temperatures in the mid to the upper 50s, showers for Friday, and then showers return for the end of the holiday. Yeah, weekend. you got to get a walk in, you know, before it, or I, there, after. There's some, there's some uh, good <laughs> exercises to do before you uh, set you know, you spend the day around yeah. the turkey, the pies, of course, watching. You just got to make a little room so that you can have the second helping. Grab your favorite pair of sweatpants for the weekend. <laughs> Stretchy pants. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much, Joe.